Here's one more example about how you could use a tree diagram to figure out the theoretical probability of an event happening. So imagine this, you have a coin. You're going to flip it three times in a row. I'm asking you now to think about how you could figure out what the likelihood or the probability of that coin landing on heads three times in a row would be. Pause the video now and see if you can figure it out. Here's an example of how you could use a tree diagram to figure this out. So I'm going to label this one, flip one, then flip two, and then flip three. Okay, so on my first flip, I could flip it heads, or I could flip tails. Those are my two options. After my first flip, on flip two, I could either flip heads or tails. Here, I could flip heads or tails. Then finally, on my third flip, I could have flipped heads, heads, and then heads again, or it could have gone heads, heads, tails. Each of these could end up in either a head or a tail. So now, once I have my tree diagram made, I need to see where my desired outcome is. In this case, it's three heads in a row. Well, if I look here, I could see I flipped heads once here, here again, and then here again. If you look at the tree diagram, there's no other combination of you flipping heads, heads, heads. It goes heads, heads, tails, or heads, tails, heads, or heads, tails, tails. These are all the possible outcomes. So again, remember the total number of outcomes. We see how many branches we have at the end of our tree. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes. So that's the bottom of my fraction. And I have one way that I can get this done. So the probability is one in eight. One divided by eight is 0 0.125 or 12.5%. It's a pretty low chance that you would flip three heads in a row. Again, you can use the theoretical probability to help you make predictions about what you think might happen. So you might get a question like, um, say you had a class of 25 students and everybody in the class flipped the coin three times in a row. How many people would we expect to flip three heads in a row? So I'll show you how you can use your theoretical probability to do this. We would just uh, take a look and be like, um, we know that 12.5% of the time this should happen. So that means that about 12.5% of the class should get this result. So again, to find the percent of a number, a really quick way to do this um, is 0 0.125. So that's that um, theoretical probability as a decimal multiplied by 25 students, 12.5% of 25. And we get an answer um, of 3.125. Well, we don't have fractions of students, but this is an answer that's pretty close to 3. So we would say about, we would expect about 3 people to get this result if we were to do this experiment um, 25 times.